Biological Evolution Evolution by natural selection would have started when cellular forms of life originated on Earth. The essence of Darwinian theory about evolution is natural selection. The rate of appearance of new forms is linked to the lifespan. For example, a colony of bacteria growing on a given medium has built-in variation in terms of ability to utilize a feed component. When there is change in medium composition, only part of the population can survive under new conditions. This population in due course of time appears as new species. This would happen within days due to short lifespan. Fitness is better under new conditions. Nature selects for fitness. Fitness is based on characteristics which are inherited. Some organisms are better adaptive to survive in hostile environment. Adaptive ability is inherited. It has genetic basis. Fitness is the end result of the ability to adapt and get selected by nature. The main concepts of Darwinian theory of evolution are 1. Branching descent and 2. Natural selection. Lamarck postulated that organs will develop due to use and degenerate due to disuse of organs. The giraffe was cited as an example to show how its neck became long during course of evolution. The ancestors of giraffe was horse-like animal with a short neck drought in the environment, forced it to feed more advantageously on the leaves of trees. During this, the animal made conscious effort to elongate its neck. By constant stretching, this constant use added to the length of the neck from generation to generation until it became remarkably long. As they passed this acquired character of elongated neck to succeeding generations, giraffe slowly over the years came to acquire long necks. It is still not clear whether to regard evolution and natural selection as processes or end results of unknown processes. The work of Malthus on population influenced Darwin. Example, natural resources are limited, populations are stable in size except for seasonal fluctuation. Members of population vary in characteristics. Though they look similar, most of the variations are inherited. The fact that population size will grow exponentially if everybody reproduced maximally. The fact that population sizes are limited, that there have been competition for resources. Only some survived and grew at the cost of others that could not flourish. The insight of Darwin was variations which are heritable and make resource utilizations. Better for few will enable only those to reproduce and leave more progeny. Hence, over a period of time, survivors will leave more progeny and hence new forms appear to arise.